76th edition of the 24 Hours of Le Mans takes place on June the 14th and 15th, 2008. 55 cars at the start, the headline act, the battle between Audi and Peugeot. Audi have won every year since year 2000, except in 03 when Bentley got back to winning ways. Peugeot came back to Le Mans the previous year. It's the 908 HDI FAP against the Audi R10 TDI. Those are the official names of the two cars. The Peugeots struck hard in qualifying, monopolizing the leading three positions on the grid. In the number seven is a certain Jacques Villeneuve, the F1 world champion in 1997. The first moments of the race are exceptional. At the second corner, Alain McNish in the Audi number two attacks Nicolas Minassian in the Peugeot number seven. What a spectacle. At the start of the race, the positions are well established. The three Peugeots lead and two Audis are trying to stay on their coattails. At Peugeot, unfortunately, the troubles are starting. First, the eight is hit by a gear selection problem. Alexander Wurtz is at the wheel but is pushed inside the garage and they'll lose more than 20 minutes to the problem. Back to the pits for Jacques Villeneuve who hands over to Marc Genet. Everything's going well for the Canadian champion and of the Peugeots it's the number seven that's best placed. There's a bit more than a minute between the Audi number two and the Peugeot number seven. Alan McNish puts in an incredible triple stint before handing over to Ronaldo Capello after 2 hours 45. It's certain that the prestigious trio of McNish, Christensen and Capello will be tough opponents for Peugeot. Amidst the pit stops and the traffic, the battle never relents between the two constructors and each millimetre of the track is used. Between midnight and one in the morning, the race is marked by the accident suffered by Marcel Fessler in the Courage Orica Judd No. 6. The race is neutralised for 30 minutes or so. When the cars are unleashed again, Nicolas Minassian has a spin when accelerating on the pit straight. More of a scare than any damage done, the seven can continue. Except there's something new at the party, the rain. Of course that means the tyres are prepared, of course there'll be consequences. In the morning, a great attack from Villeneuve. He unlaps himself compared to the two. The two cars on the same lap and things are getting tense again. It's raining again for the end of the race and the last stop might decide things. At Audi, no risks are being taken. The rain intensifies. Off come the slicks and on come the intermediate tyres. At Peugeot, as they're still banging their heads against the Audi number two, they need to try something. There's some confusion, but then they gamble. To save time, they stay on slicks. It's an hour from the finish and they're betting on more clement weather conditions returning. The problem is that it's raining a lot. Audi are already at Unodier when Minassian comes out of the pits. And despite his talent, the French driver can't do anything in such a swimming pool. He has a huge spin, it's over and Jack Villeneuve has to settle for second place at the finish the Canadian won't win the 24 hours. Victory then for the Audi number two of Christensen, McNish and Capello. It's Audi's eighth win in the start, the second for McNish, the third for Capello and the eighth for Tom Christensen.